You can have a good product and be broke. I said you can have a good product and still be broke. You can be gifted and be broke. You can be excellent and still be broke. You can have the right stuff in your shop and still be broke. You can produce the right content and still be broke. You can produce the right music and still be broke. Because products are not sold, products are marketed. Products are not sold, they are marketed. So your products need to be marketed. Anything you do, whether you're a seamstress, whether you're a tailor, whether you're a bricklayer, whether you're a fashion designer, whether you're a builder, whether you're a driver, whatever it is you do, whether you're a medical doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're an engineer, whatever it is you do, whether you're a music minister, whether you're an art actor, an actress, whatever it is you do, your product needs to be what? Marketed. Don't be deceived. The Holy Spirit will not market your product for you. Some Christians say, oh, it doesn't matter. The wind of the Holy Spirit will come and carry it and people just know about what I do. Well, if that happens, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. But why do you want to wait on miracles? We are not configured by God to seek miracles. We are configured by God to work miracles. He called us to live a blessed life. And a blessed life is a life that follows the laid down principles of God. Are you still here? So, you need to market your product. No marketing means no sales. If you don't market, you will not sell. But unfortunately, conventional marketing is very expensive for startups. Conventional marketing where you go to the radio station, produce a jingle, go there and pay them to advertise your product or hire or rent a billboard or go on social media and do paid adverts. It's not getting any cheaper. It's not cheap, especially for startups. Startups find it difficult to market. One of the greatest hindrances to startups is the lack of marketing dollars. They don't have money to market your products. They can't advertise. So, for a startup to succeed, they must look for unconventional marketing strategies unconventional marketing strategies. So, that unconventional marketing strategy is what I call guerrilla marketing. What I call guerrilla marketing. So, who is a guerrilla? A guerrilla is defined as a person who engages in irregular or unconventional and aggressive warfare. Let me take it again. A gorilla. A gorilla is defined as a person who engages in irregular, not the regular means, or unconventional, not the conventional ways, and aggressive warfare. The U.S., with all their military might and all the money they spent in, in uh, Afghanistan, Stayed there for almost 20 years. They couldn't defeat the Taliban. Because when you hear about the war with the Taliban, it wasn't a frontal war. The Taliban were guerrillas. They used guerrilla warfare tactics. They mingled amongst the people. So you don't even know who they are. That's why Nigeria, it will almost be impossible for Nigeria, as it is, to defeat Boko Haram. They are faceless. They will have a few camps there. Even if you bomb all their camps, they have infiltrated the system. <laughs> you know about the, ta the Tamil gorillas. No matter how see, no matter how big you are as a corporation, as a government, as an army, the most difficult warfare for those people to fight 
is a fight against gorillas. Likewise, as a small business, as a startup, there are some things you, you ought to do that bigger businesses cannot do. And that is your survival chance. That will be gorilla marketing. Share gorilla marketing. So, is someone who engages in irregular or unconventional and ag see, aggressive? Don't say aggressive. Gorillas are aggressive. Aggressive what? Warfare. So, what is marketing? Marketing is a systematic process of influencing or changing people's opinion and perspective in relation to an idea or a product. A systematic process. Marketing must be systematic. It's not casual, it's not accidental, it's systematic. It's a systematic process of influencing or changing people's opinion and perspective in relation to a product or to an idea. Ideas need to be marketed. Products need to be what? Marketed. Are you still here? Praise God. So now, so we see, therefore, that gorilla marketing is simply an unconventional and aggressive system of influencing or changing people's mindset concerning your product. Unconventional and aggressive system of changing people's opinion their perspective or their perception or their opinion concerning you, concerning your product, concerning your idea, concerning your ministry. Are you still here? Come on, am I talking to myself? Shall I prophesy? Praise God. So, the, the modern day leader of the guerrilla marketing strategy is a man called J. Conrad Levinson is the one that made this theory very popular. Conrad Levinson. He's the father of modern day guerrilla marketing. So he defines guerrilla marketing as achieving conventional goals such as sales, profit, joy, growth with unconventional methods. Achieving conventional goals, your sales target profitability, joy, personal joy, achieving growth, using unconventional methods, such as investing energy instead of money. Conventional marketing, you invest what? Money. But in unconventional marketing, you invest energy, amongst other things. One more time, what is Guerrilla marketing, achieving conventional goals such as sales, profits, growth, joy with what unconventional methods. For example, achieving those sales targets using energy and not money. Are you still here? So, guerrilla marketing is marketing that is designed to influence people through a process that is unconventional. Through a process that is unconventional, non-traditional, and extremely flexible. Convincing people through a process that is what? Unconventional, non-traditional, and extremely flexible. Is there anybody here that can articulate or remember an example of guerrilla marketing. Yeah? Goku Klesa. They spent money, but also they spend less money than they use a lot of energy, right? Yeah? Who? Agnes Wamma. All right. What do you want to say? Yeah? Shout it now. What? Super dent. What do they do? Toothpaste. So what makes it gorilla? That they everywhere just make it gorilla. 
that they everywhere just make a gorilla. Because they are spending money. They are spending money. They are spending money to have those canvases everywhere. But it is still unconventional, right? Their method is still unconventional. Goko, Klesa, on a boogie now for, on a boogie C, on a boogie no ko. Understand? You are in your room, you are hearing it direct. Now, have you ever gone to the market and you saw people dancing? And they are playing music and they are what? Dancing. What do you do? You will stop to see who are these people dancing in the market. And before you know what's happening, what happens? They start to market their product. One time I went to I, I went somewhere, I can't remember where I went again, and I saw four men. You know, they 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 were leading hind, you know, wild animals. I don't know whether they are leopards or hyenas. I don't know what they were. So they were gathered, and so, so they were just playing with them. Before you know what's happening, a crowd gathered. They were awesome, they were full of men or awesome men. And the crowd gathered. And they were beating this, they were doing boom, 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 boom. People gathered. All of a sudden, one Igbo man came out and started marketing. <laughs> That's a guerrilla marketing strategy. All right, so what about social media? Have you ever noticed one in social media? It's happening every day. All right, from our test, where we read, it was time to inaugurate the church. It was the time to release a product. It was time to release a product. The New Testament church. And the Holy Spirit waited until it was Pentecost, when everyone came to Jerusalem to observe the feast of the Pentecost. And he waited until the main day when there was heavy crowd. And suddenly, there was a sound from heaven. Boom! The entire city heard the sound. And they started rushing to the direction of the sound. Holy Spirit is the founder of gorilla marketing. He's the number one gorilla. <laughs> no adverts could have spread the gospel the way it was spread that day. No adverts could have ad advertised the gospel, the new church, the way it was advertised that day. There was a sound and they came. And when they came, there were some men that were drunk. Initially, they thought they were drunk. And what, what amazed them was that they started hearing them glorifying God in their own language, even though they were Galileans. They were speaking tongues they have never learned before. It was the cheapest way of attracting men together and advertising the kingdom. You got to be a gorilla. You got to think like the Holy Spirit. Are you still here? So, gorilla marketing strategy is a strategy in which cost, cost effective and unconventional methods are utilized to generate more traffic. Cost effective methods are utilized to generate more traffic. Some, some, in the past five years, the flash crowd has always worked, right? People always introduce things with, uh, you know, their products with a, you call it a mob or a flash mob or a flash crowd, where sometimes in the stadium or in a, at the airport or at a res uh, restaurant or at the shopping mall, somebody will just come and put music and start to dance. If you know what's happening, over 200 people, 100 people will come and, and be dancing. And everybody will gather to watch them. Are you still here? Come on, are you still here? All right. So we have to think about how do we gather people to our businesses? How do we get, uh, gain traffic to our, our social media pages? How do we gain traffic to our shops? How do we gain traffic to our ministries using cost-effective methods? How do we gain more brand recognition using cost-effective methods? Because this method is good for companies who can't afford big advert budgets. All right, but guerrilla marketing is simply an easy way to do business. 
is easy to understand and easy to implement. And it is outrageously inexpensive. Shout glory to Jesus. Let me show you one or two principles of guerrilla marketing. Number one, it is unconventional. Unconventional. It is, so it says instead of investing money in the marketing, you must invest time. You must invest energy. You must invest relationships and imagination. So, so when you are planning your marketing now, remove money first of all because you don't have the money, right? Just remove it. So ask yourself, what can I do without money to get my brand to be recognized, to gain more traffic? What can I do? What can I do? Now, social media, some people now, if they want to gain prominence immediately on social media, what do they do? They come online and they start to, act, 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 come, start to attack pastors, right? Right? Start to attack pastors, attack government. All right? Or sex. Have you ever seen so, such posts of, ah, you know, they, they show you a picture of a man kissing a woman. And you now click on it to see the rest of the show. They say, Tara, Jesus loves you. <laughs> but if they have told you Jesus loves you, you won't click on it. <laughs> you won't click on it. So, 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 I want you to think throughout this week. How do I gain more traction? How do I gain more sales? How do I gain more brand recognition? How do I attract more traffic to my page without using money? What do I do without using money? How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I leverage on my relationships and gain more sales, gain more traction, gain more traffic without using money? Because oftentimes all we think about is, okay, let me just go and pay Facebook. Okay, that's okay. Let me go and print flyers. That's okay. Yeah, if you can afford it. But, but if you're a startup, you can't really afford it. So what's the issue now? How can I? So I want you to think. This is a thinking class. I want you to think. How can I gain more traction? How can I gain more traffic? How can I sell, sell more? How can I get more brand recognition? Without spending money. You know. How do I invest in my relationships? How, how do I use them to spread the good news of my business? How do I use them? How do I use my imagination? Hear this. Gorillas know the difference between marketing and advertising. They know the difference between marketing and advertising. Advertising informs the people about the existence of a product. Advertising informs the people about what? The existence of a people, of a product. We see the video on TV, right? With Coca-Cola, the people dance. It's advert. While marketing informs the people why they need the product. Why they need the product. We need to redo that advert. You did adverts. You didn't do marketing. Marketing tells you on the 1st of October here, 10 p.m. till dawn, we'll be, we'll be hosting Position Yourself for Marriage. That's marketing. And it is, it is themed breaking the yoke of delay in getting married. But we need to now take it to marketing by telling them why they need to come. Why they need to, by addressing their issues. Understand? So, every gorilla knows the difference between advertising and what? Marketing. Guess what? You need money to advertise, but oftentimes you necessarily don't need money to market. I heard how, how many of you know Chief Imo? Chief Imo is about the most popular Igbo comedian, right? Or actor, uh, com uh, com uh, comedy actor, right? How did he blow? 
He was telling me that how he blew was that he had, he had looked, he was, he, before he was location manager for movies, he was a costumier. <laughs> he did a movie in Ibo, he saved borrowed money, and nobody touched the movie. So he started to do skits. With his phone, he would act something and just put it on social media. And all of you started to share it. Huh? All of you started to do what? To share it. And he blew. These days we see people that just manifest. In two months they are blown. They have a good product. So they put it in a format that you, you and I can share. And they do comedy that touches you. And you start to share it. There's one woman now. See, anybody can blow now. There's one woman now called... Uh, what's, that, what's, what's her name again? That old woman. Madam Special. That, that Anambra woman. Her mates are in the village. Waiting for their sons to send money. Now she's... No, no, no. She's not an influencer. She's getting money now. She's not a brand influencer. People are paying her to influence, to market their products. Are you still here? So, what ways can you do that? So, number two, commitment. What's the first one? Unconventional ways. Ways that does not really include money or that is cost effective. Number two, commitment. That's critical. Remember we said it must be aggressive. But that aggressive must be sustained. That aggressiveness must be what? Sustained. So it must be commitment. So commitment is fundamental to a gorilla. A gorilla is committed to his strategy. He's committed to it. You know something you do today and tomorrow you don't do it again. You are committed to it. You are committed to it. You are committed to it. Hear this and you can write this one down. A mediocre marketing strategy with commitment. A mediocre, what I mean, mediocre, a strategy that is not excellent. An average strategy. So a mediocre marketing strategy with commitment will always prove more effective than an excellent strategy without commitment. A mediocre marketing strategy with commitment will always prove more effective than an excellent marketing strategy without commitment. Some of you, you post something on your product first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, because there's no response. You say it's not working, you stop it. Be committed to it. I was in a way just over the, over, during the week for a conference. A bishop told me, I know you, but you don't know me. I'm your friend of, on Facebook. He said, I read you every day. I don't know that he's reading it. He's a big bishop. He doesn't comment, but he's reading it. That people didn't comment does not mean that they didn't see. Sometimes for people to buy from you, they have to see it 16 times. He said, it takes averagely somebody 8 times to make a decision. But they say, do it 16 times. That's why you see adverts on Facebook. Every time you go on Facebook, they show you the advert. They keep showing it to you. Once you have clicked, they keep showing it to you. So, because you did it for 8 days and nobody, nobody, nobody commented, does not mean it's not working. The more they see it, the more they see it, the more they become conscious of it. How can you be a businessman and every day you don't post something concerning your business? How can you do that? Posting nonsense. Every day there must be something about your business on your platform. Every day. The rule is three times a day. I went for an online class how to monetize your content. And the mentor told me there, 
that for you to blow, you must post three times a day on Facebook, three times a day on Instagram, three times a day on all the platforms. You must do a video a day. <laughs> you must do three infographics. Since it takes you 3,000 videos to blow in one direction for people to notice you. And you, business person, when was the last time you put something on your platform concerning your business? Remember, we're not talking about advert now. Say, gorillas know the difference between marketing and advert. When you go there, you tell people why they need your product. You don't discuss the features, you discuss the benefits of what you're doing. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. There are, I think our fashion guys, some of our fashion guys say, have caught it. Some of them have caught it every day. They are loading their, their platforms. They are loading it. They are loading it. They are loading it. They are loading it. If you have any picture, write something. That's gorilla. Target your friends. At least you don't need to pay Facebook to target your friends, do you? No, you don't need to do that. Once you get your friends, get them to share. That's where you start from. That's how startup starts. Oh, Pastor, I'm anointed. I am waiting for my ministry. Start it on social media. I'm not here to preach. Preach on social media. You have a phone, and the phone has a microphone. It has a camera. Preach. Every day. You can sing, and you're not singing on social media. You're not singing. You're not singing. There's a sister I know. This lady, if you hear her song, eh? Her song doesn't make sense. She's a good, she's a good believer, but the song doesn't make sense. Lovely voice, but doesn't make sense. And she did one work video. Work video. I saw the video, I said, Chai, why would this girl on her level do such a work video? But guess what? That work video took her to America. Somebody somewhere, a pastor in America, saw the video and said, What? This voice is angelic. I have never heard a voice like this before. And he invited her to come and sing in his church in America. Process visa for her. No, pastor is married with children. I don't think he wants to marry her. It was when she went there to minister, sister that all the brothers in Nigeria have not seen. A brother in America said, you are my wife. That's how she met her husband there. She now lives in America with three children. Work video. You, you, you make hair, video yourself making people's hair. Today we're going live. I'm making my sister's hair. We're going live. Video it. Before and after. Share it. You're selling a product. Go and make t-shirts. Go to Beyond Clothing. Brand it your product name. Wear it everywhere you go. Kechi makeup turning ugly ladies into beauty queen turning fine ladies into angels so we're joking right <laughs> but you have to be a gorilla guys nobody will market your product for you you don't have the money to market it you don't have the money to advertise use your space look for unconventional ways cost effective ways be aggressive and be committed. God bless you.